Today we're going to have a look at the Action Cable examples under the Rails organization on GitHub. What we are going to do is we're actually going to take out the Puma web server and replace it with the Thin and I'll show you how you can set this up to support SSL certificates. We're also going to take a look at how the Redis is configured as well as uh, making sure that that gets started up every time you reboot your application and also your server. So today we're going to look at those few items so let's dive into it. So the first thing we're going to do is clone the GitHub repo and then we're going to uh, follow the on-screen instructions to set up the development environment. So here's how you install Redis, here's how you can start up the servers. So here I already have everything pulled down and I will start the real server I will type bin slash cable to start up the cable server then I'll start up the Redis server and with testing this we can see that it does work already right out of the box with all those services running so here we have our two users I'm logged in as be edgy here let's log in as snoop we can go into our live messaging and we see it popping up instantly on both sides. Now this works great in your development environment. However, you are most likely going to serve your application over SSL, and I did have some trouble getting it running with Puma. So today we're gonna look at how we can set this up with our thin server so that we can easily run our SSL certificates. Okay, so let's go ahead and close these. And we are going to go into our application and the first thing that you want to do is under your gem file we're actually going to get rid of Puma and replace this with the thin web server so make sure you run bundle and uh, install your thin client next you're going to go under the let's see the cable config RU and we're not going to change too much here but the one thing that we do have to add is we have to let the Faye WebSocket know that we are running the adapter thin. So all you do is just around line five here, just put in the Faye WebSocket and then load adapter and make sure you specify the thin. And that should be able to um, start that up. Uh, next, we're, we will go into the bin directory and under cable. And we're going to replace this where it's loading up the Puma web server on port 2080. 80 and we're just going to run thin so we are running thin and we are loading a config file config cable.yaml so let's go and create our config file so if we go under config and then we will create a new file and we're just going to call this cable.yaml and then you can and I'll link into the show notes this here so you uh, basically select your directory that you're going to have it running on. So this is the root of your application. And then you have your environment, the port that you want to run on. Now if you are changing this to something other than what the original Puma server was running on, make sure that you go and change your WebSocket links and your JavaScript files as well. However, you can select anything here that you want. Uh, timeout your log file where you want to log this to, uh, then max number of connections, your thread pool size, the number of servers, daemon, uh, daemonizing it so it will uh, just run in the background. Load SSL true. If you have trouble with uh, your SSL certificates, you can select disable true uh, or false. You know, just make sure that it's working properly. And then you reference to a directory where you have your SSL certificates installed. And finally, we are then calling the um, cable config RU for starting up the application. So once we get uh, those changes made, we should be good. Now, one of the things that we want to do is whenever this service, uh, the server gets rebooted, we want to make sure that the action cable is automatically started and one of the easiest ways to do this is you can add a gem whenever and by adding this gem whenever and you can check the documentation for the uh, runtime files or the uh, commands to generate it 
but what we can do is go under the config folder let's create a new file and let's call this schedule.rb and then you can uh, create a rake task and then start it or you can simply do uh, run a system command to start and you can see a live example of this when you go into the drifting ruby website under the chat section you can type in messages and it automatically broadcasts to everyone who is subscribed to the channel so this is a working example of action cable in production running the thin web server for action cable over ssl web sockets as well as running redis as the background pops up